5 reasons why McLaren will be boss this season. As you might know, I'm all about the vibes. I'm not gonna lie, the vibes around McLaren for the 2024 Formula 1 season are huge. I don't know if it's because they suddenly revealed their new livery or a video from the race I saw recently, but I think they'll be boss this season. And here's 5 reasons why. I'm Wimbo, here's 3 seconds to leave a like. 5. The new livery McLaren popped the new livery early and I absolutely love it. Black is a strong color and papaya is close to orange, so I obviously love that too. With this year's livery not having any light blue on it, the car looks powerful and impressive. I've always found McLaren a cool team with a lot of history. That past has some of the most iconic liveries in the history of F1. Like in the days of Senna or the epic seasons when Hamilton was just starting. So the 2024 car, the MCL38, is already doing its part, on the outside at least. Let me know what you think of the livery. 4. Holy Trinity after James Key left the organization, McLaren decided to use a different system to oversee the whole technical operation. Three new specialized technical directors are reporting directly to team principal Andrea Stella. Peter Prodromu moved into the role of technical director aerodynamics. He used to work for McLaren in the 90s, but left them to join Red Bull in 2006, but he's back in Woking now. David Sanchez returns to McLaren as technical director, car concept and performance after a decade at Ferrari. Neil Holdy is promoted into the newly created role of technical director engineering and design. He's been at McLaren for ages and just worked his way up. So that's the holy trinity of McLaren who will be making the necessary changes for the McLaren package to attack Oracle Red Bull Racing. They get help from another giant in motorsports. Rob Marshall left Red Bull to help guide McLaren and establish the highest technical standards possible. Looks to me McLaren has it all sorted. What a difference this team is compared to the mess they had in 2015, right? Do you think those guys will get it done? 3. Infrastructure and Sponsors I may not always agree with Zach Brown and his tactics, but he's a great businessman who pulled in so many sponsors that the McLaren team, with the help of the budget cap, is making a profit. How different is that compared to the days when teams just squandered hundreds of millions of dollars to almost go bankrupt? Every bit of the car is covered and that's why we saw 5 different liveries last year, to please all the different contributors. As for infrastructure, the new wind tunnel and simulator are finally done and they just have started using it all. A new manufacturing unit with all new state of the art manufacturing equipment is also built. The only downside is that if McLaren happens to disappoint for some reason, that excuse can't be used anymore. Do you think McLaren will need excuses this season? 2. Last season Past performance is no guarantee of future results. This is a warning we hear sometimes and when investing in some dodgy stocks, this may be great advice. However, looking at how fast McLaren was at the last 10 races in 2023, we can conclude that they are right up there. Team scored 9 podiums and won a sprint race. They started terribly and nobody gave a dime for their season. But upgrade after upgrade they improved, so much so that they became the second fastest team after Red Bull, leaving Mercedes and Aston Martin behind. I think it's very unlikely with the new changes to the car in 2024 that they'll lose that speed. So it all depends on how much the teams around them find in performance. I posted a poll on my Twitter and YouTube community page and it's clear that McLaren will be at least a favorite to be second at the end of the season. Do you agree? 1. The lineup. What I'm most excited about for McLaren is the two young drivers they have in their cars. I can't wait to see Norris shine in a great package and see him win races. Oscar Piastri isn't a rookie anymore, but for him it's the same. I want to see what he can do in a competitive car. Will they both have the mental strength to pull the car over the finish line, even when there's a Dutch Red Bull charging at them? Will they stay out of the way of some of the more accident prone drivers on track? All in all, plenty to look forward to in the 2024 Formula 1 season. And that's what we want, a year full of emotion and full of stories. I think with McLaren fighting up front, we have one of the ingredients for it. Subscribe. Take care now. Doei doei. A special thanks to my channel members. Your help is much appreciated. If you want to support this channel too, click the link down below.